you guys so this video is of course going to be a hair tutorial okay at least I'm going to try so I wanted to show you guys this wig that I got let me turn the light up on my ring light for my phone here you know cuz I'm I'm special it's a little bit too bright but we're gonna keep it oh brightness brightness we're gonna keep it we're gonna we're gonna put it to like we're gonna put it to like right there so of course you guys see the title this wig was sent to me by rpg show and right now i got the neanderthal look going on you know like cave woman i got the night like, the neanderthal look going on which is cool because you know we can definitely fix that up it's like a fixer upper so this is like one reason why i don't really get too many colored wigs from lace wig companies because a lot of times when you get them they end up looking like this they're like brassy color orangish color even though when you see them on a the picture they look like they're like blondish or like this really pretty auburn color but then when you get them they they just really look like this like which is like this orange color and so you guys cannot tell me that this does not look orange okay it's very brassy and copper like however when they did send me the picture it did look totally different but that's a picture and it's a, a computer monitor different types of colors or whatever but i've had this happen to me like three times and all i do is just get some toner baby baby some toner okay now don't get it twisted i love rpg show because their lace wigs are bomb just that their coloring in isn't all that, okay? But that's okay because we're going to fix this. Um, I did get a couple other ones from them that the color was on point, but this one is just like a little bit too brassy. It's a little bit too brassy, girl. But it has potential. Like, you can definitely fix this. Like, you can't bleach it. I mean, you can bleach it if you want to, but I don't want to bleach it because I, I like... I don't want it to be any lighter. So we're going to get some toner and we're going to tone this down. Girl, like tone it down, you know, because this is a little bit loud for your girl. And I'm not going to be wearing this outside like this. So let's get our supplies, hunties, and we're going to whip this wig into effect. Let me not do that too hard before I get whiplash and um, my wig fall off, right? What you think, right? She said, right. Let's go do this. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. As you guys seen, I did have that crazy looking color wig on. So now we're about to try to, um, I'm about to, I'm about to bleach the knots of this lace front from RPG Show. And I'm going to use the purple shampoo before i use the toner because i was going to use the toner the wella toner i was going to use that but i want to see if i use the purple shampoo first this is the um, sally um sally beauty supply store brand um i normally will use like this one right here but i don't have any more so i'm going to use the sally Hanson brand on the entire wig after i um sally Hanson brand the sally beauty supply store brand to see if it'll tone the wig, the purple shampoo, if it'll tone the wig so I don't have to buy the actual Wella toner. So if it doesn't like help it by some um in the morning, because I'm gonna like let it dry, if it doesn't help it, then what I'll do is then I'll go to Sally's Beauty Store and I will get the Wella toner. Probably like three bottles to be on the safe side because I hate to have to like run out like I've done before. So I'm gonna bleach the knots first of the wig. Okay, and I'm going to be using this, and I'm going to be using, where's my bleach at? Oh, see, I had it in the kitchen because I was waiting for you guys, you know, waiting for you guys to come over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Waiting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm styling today with my two corn rolls because that's what we do when we don't have much to do. I've been making some wigs and stuff, so I'm pretty busy. So I'm going to get everything ready, and we're going to bleach the knots. And for today's video, I'm going to be using the BW2, okay? I've been calling this B2K for a minute now. And I'm going to be using the 30 volume developer, okay? okay? All right, you guys, so let's get really serious into this video. So your wig comes in one of these cute wig bags, wig bags, and then you're also going to get the oil deep conditioner. There are two packets in here, a wig cap, their new adjustable black elastic band, which kind of reminds me of a bra strap because it has hooks. So you can either hook it on or off of your lace wig. And the original elastic band is also included in this. So girl, you can really have your head tight and secure, like for real. 
your head will be tight that wig ain't going nowhere then you got the rpg show magazine so this is what the inside of the wig cap looks and as you guys see right here this little black piece that is where you can hook on your um black elastic band now and this is the back portion of it there is straps in the back and a comb as well as combs in the front so I'm going to take my BW2 bleach and I'm just going to put in a couple of scoops. You know, I was kind of undecided because I did go back in. I decided, well, let me get some more, you know, play it safe. So I went ahead and threw in some scoops and I'm going to take my Salon Care 30 Cream Developer and I'm going to mix that into my mixing bowl with my brush. I don't really want it too um, too thin because you know if it's runny and thin then it's just gonna seep through the lace and you have like these blonde brassy roots and we're already trying to get rid of the brassiness so I want to make my consistency uh, really thick so that way we're well, not really thick but you know what I'm saying like thick enough to where it's not seeping through and I decided that I would need some more powder because it wasn't thick enough for me and then just a tad bit more developer and then we should be good to go like you know kudos so you just want to mix it up until it gets like a nice pasty feel kind of like toothpaste you know but if you was like actually bleaching the hair hair part of it then I wouldn't say have it this thick you can basically have it on a runny side so as you guys see that's super thick it's not going nowhere it's not really going to seep through the brush that I have is small I like the smaller ones especially for bleaching knots so you just want to take it don't press too hard because you don't want it to go through the lace but you definitely want to do the back portion of your lace frontal wig always first you don't want to do the front portion because of course the hairline is thinner so it will definitely be less time it would need for bleaching the knots of it so I'm just going to take my brush here and I'm just going to tap onto the lace cap and just put my mixture down honeys you know this is time consuming so we're going to speed through it And as you guys see, I'm getting towards the hairline and I'm doing very small strokes, very light strokes. I don't want the formula too thick or the consistency too thick onto the hairline because the hairline takes less time to process because there's very little hair. It's less density. So you don't want to do the hairline first. You always want to do that last and, you know, just be very mindful. You don't want to put too much bleach on it because it's really not needed. Now, RPG shows lace wigs are amazing, so, you know, I really like them. So, as I'm patting away, you know, just taking my time because it's very sparingly up there where the hairline is at, I'm just going to go ahead and I will let this sit on the wig. I think it sat on the wig for like 45 minutes to an hour. It depends on you. You don't want to leave it too less because it'll be brassy. And I'm just going to take these clips and kind of like, I did put a plastic bag inside of the wig and I'm just going to take these clips and hold it together so that way, you know, the cap doesn't, the wig don't roll over. And I'm going to take a plastic bag and I'm going to put that over my wig while it processes. Is. you don't really need aluminum foil I have learned that trick from the hairstylist hello and I think it sat on for like 45 minutes so now on to the next day what's up you guys what's up YouTube so as for the hair well I did use the purple shampoo I didn't really feel like putting that on camera so not like I didn't feel like it but I had like to hurry up I had to press my daughter's hair so she can go to work then bring my son to work so I had like no time to do that. Um, so I did put it on as directed like normal and it did tone some of it like so it's not orange orange. Okay. So it's not orangey like as bad. But um, I think like I can definitely use the toner to make it look a lot better. So um, the knots came out really good though. The knots, the knots did come out really nice. There go the knots. This is the hairline. Um, it really didn't need to tweeze this, which is amazing. All I did was tweeze it like so little bit. I don't even think that it mattered, but it did. Um, the only thing I tweezed out of it is I don't like my hairline to be straight across. So that's what I tweezed out of it and just a little bit further back. But this actually looks really good. Okay. RPG show has like some bomb bomb lace like their lace is really good so you can barely see it when it's on someone's skin like look at that it like literally just like melts into your skin i have these two which is the t18 i'm just going to use the 20 so i'm going to need two parts developer and one part um 
toner. So let's get this mixture going. So here we go with the fun part. We're going to use the Wella Charms toner in the color T18. And I only decided to get two bottles. I'm going to empty both of those bottles in there. And once I have emptied those into there, I'm going to be putting two parts of the 20 developer. And that means I'm going to refill the bottle twice for each bottle. So all together, I'm going to be pouring it four times because I have two bottles. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in there. I really don't think you guys need a tutorial on how to pour. So you guys, you want to take your time in mixing this because, you know, it can be really messy, splashing all over the place and stuff. So just start off slow and then gradually build up your speed, as you guys see right here. So we're going to just speed it up and we're going to gradually build up that speed. Of course, I could not stir anything like that. But you want to make sure that you brush out the hairs. And now this is a really thick wig. It's 200% density. And you know it's curly, girl. So, you know, we're about to get this brassy orange out of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to hook it up. So I was kind of lazy. So this is what I did. I just poured it onto the, the wig real quick. Because your arms will get really tired. Like, for real, my arms were getting tired during this video. Like, during this portion. Um, I ain't worked out in a minute. Like, I do work out. But I don't work out my arms or nothing like that. So, I mean, I might just want to start doing that if I had a plan on toning and bleaching a lot of wigs in the near future I best to like kind of like get my arm game up but anyway I'm gonna just distribute this toner throughout the whole wig you know you want to make sure it's evenly like all the hairs are saturated so get you a good bent brush and brush through and also make sure you work out like work your arms out girl because this part right here will make my arms tired that's the part that really made my arms tired brushing my hair and back to putting the toner on now first of all you might need a mask for this depending on how you know your nostrils are built like if you can take this smell or not like it don't really bother me too much sometimes it do but you know if you ain't got no mask go to the dollar tree they you can get like 10 in the pack for a dollar girl so mumsy had to come through and give me um some a brush uh, not a brush but some gloves she said hi that was her way of saying hi to you guys but i did need a rubber glove because the toner will start burning your skin okay and look at that wow hmm well we still gonna use this glove anyway matters not to me and i'm just going to go ahead and continue to brush it through um, sometimes I, you will really need to get like three bottles, but I really was trying to be cheap. Plus Sally's Beauty Supply Store, they tried to hike up the prices. Well, they ain't tried to, they did. So I wasn't trying to give them another $7. Like that's not about to happen. But two was definitely enough for me. You see, it got well saturated. I brushed it on. It's nice and curly. I'm going to wrap it in this bag and I'm going to let it sit on there for like 45 minutes to an hour. And now comes the fun part. I know you guys like my African head wrap, definitely. I'll put the link below for you guys, okay? So let's get into the serious business, the biz naive of this wig tutorial slash documentary, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to have fun with you guys, okay? So this is my cornrows. I'm gonna take my baby facial wipe and I'm going to clean off my hairline because, you know, I really don't want any makeup on my gel. That's just gross, okay? Gross. So as you guys see, there goes the elastic band that I hooked onto. It's like a bra hook. Girl, you know, if you got an old bra or something, just cut it off and you can just take that. But listen, hunties, look at the hairline. Do you guys see the parting? Like, yeah, I know you see it, but isn't it amazing? Like RPG show got the bombest ass lace wigs I could only talk about like for real like you know somebody might say it's pretty pricey but you know what's the old saying you get what you pay for I really didn't even need to pluck this wig I don't even know why I did you know it's like old habits are hard to break so I mean I figured what the heck I might as well go ahead and pre-pluck it because I'm not like a really huge fan of my hairline being straight across especially because it's not and I got one of these long heads so I'm gonna take me some wispy hairs and my sideburn hairs and you know I have to have the sideburn hairs because then I feel like my wig is like edgeless and stuff like that you know so I'm just going to take my eyebrow trimmer and I'm just going to cut these wispy hairs they're wispies not baby hairs okay baby hairs be like kind of pasted to your scalp or to your face these are wispy hairs they fly with the wind you know what I'm saying they're not stuck down they kind of messy they're wispies okay wispies and I'm also going to be using this got to be glam force gel that I picked up at the local Dollar Tree. Yes, hunties, I said the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take that gel because it's really good. I mean, like this gel is really, really good. And I'm going to make my sideburn hairs like, do you see that? Now, this is not my green toothbrush. So, you know, it takes me a couple of brushes because I'm used to my green toothbrush. But I'm trying to change it up. I'm trying to be outside the box. Okay. So this is my different edge brush. 
Now I'm just going to brush some of these wispy hairs. I did not put any gel on them. I just brushed them, okay? So if I had a little bit of gel or wetness on the brush, then that's fine, but I don't want them stuck to my face. Now with their hairline, you don't even need any type of baby hairs or wispy hairs, okay? Because the hairline is so perfect and the lace is so transparent. But because I want my wig to stay on for like the day or two hunties, I'm gonna take this Glam Force 48 Hour Hold Hair Spray by Got To Be that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to spray that and spritz that onto my hairline behind the wispy hairs. You don't really wanna get those wispy hairs too hard, honey, or stuck down because then that's when they become baby wispies. And don't nobody want no baby wispies. So put your blow dryer on cool to medium heat and then, you know, Blow dry that and just go on to the opposite side and repeat the prior steps. And as you guys see, I'm finished, finito, and we're gonna enjoy the rest of this video. Hey. The kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. Yes, ladies. Okay. I'm feeling this wig. Like, this is really pretty. Y'all can't front. This color is like bomb. Okay. For real. From orange to blonde, baby. Okay. So, I used both the purple shampoo, shimmer lights. I think that's... No. What is it called? I think it's called Shimmer Lights. I'm not really sure what it's called from Sally's Beauty Supply, but I use their generic brand. And then I went ahead and used some T18 Well of Toners, two bottles of that. And, you know, I just brushed it through. You got to make sure to brush it through the toner. It still smells like a little bit chemically like. I have smelled it a million times worse than this. So I did, you know, wash it out. But, you know, as you wash it, it will you know, tone or the smell will come out. It's 18 inches and it is 200% density. But let's talk about the lace color is medium brown. But let's talk about how RPG shows lace be like melted. Like, serious, look at this. Like, it's like top secret. So, like, look, secret. This is like, look at this, okay? What? Girl, like, I really do love their lace wigs, okay? Like, I like a lot of different companies' lace wigs because each person offers some different type of quality, you know, to their wigs. So everybody has something different going on. But I will say I do really like RPG shows, lace wigs, like for real. Especially because they have like really came up. Like they be coming up. Now they got like the bra hook thing. I'm not I'm sure what you want to call it. But listen, this thing is tight in my head. Like not tight. Like, oh my God, my head is swelling. But I have it on like the tightest one and it fits so comfortably. Like, and the wig fits comfortably. Comfortably, it's a lace front. I think theirs goes all the way back to six inches. You know what I mean? Um, this is um the the Tracy 005-G. Um, this one is so cute. Like, I like the color in this. This is like a meat color. Now, I don't know about earlier because it was like really orange and stuff. It could look like real cute in the summertime. I'm telling you guys, this stuff be holding the wig down. Like, look, my wig is tight for real. This is tight, okay? I like this. Like, I like this stuff. Like, I'm Listen, I still love you pump it up, okay? I still love you pump it up, but y'all gonna be like twins. The Glam Force and Pump It Up will be like twins together, okay? This wig is a you Tatis, okay? Even though I had to like fix her upper, you know what I'm saying? She's like a fixer upper. She did really come out like super cute, but this will look cute in like a ponytail, okay? Cause it's so curly and the color is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. 
Mm. So RPG show has done it again. RPG show. Y'all have done it again. Make sure you check the links below and also check out their website. And you can also check out their sister site. My first wig. They got some bomb hairlines too, like some bomb hairlines too. So you guys let me know what you think of this one. I am on a roll. I'm all excited. This is only the one video. I'm going to do just one video today and that's it. It's Saturday. I want to just chill. But you know what, you guys? I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this hair. Like, is it cute? Like, seriously? Like, do you like it? Like, really, do you like it? Would you love to know how to do it? Like, yeah. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, so, because I enjoyed it just as much as you guys. It was really good. Okay? So, I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. All the information will be in the description box below for you guys. And, you know, like share this video and stuff like that with your friends and family, the people that you don't like. You know, my highlight is like really on fleekity. Okay. So I got to go and I'll see you guys in another video. Mama, I